Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining AC induction motors. Now this is about as complicated as motors get, so if you haven't yet watched all of my other videos on motors, which this is part of a playlist of, then you should probably check those out first. Most importantly, AC motors and AC alternating current power generation. So I'll include the links to those in the description and you should definitely check those out before watching this as this kind of sums it all up into uh, an actual motor. So, AC induction motors, uh, basically there are no permanent magnets used, all of the magnets are created with electromagnets. So, what we've got going on is, just like in our AC motor that you've seen the video of, where you've got these electromagnets and the separate alternating coils, uh, the only difference is you do not have a permanent magnet in the center. Instead, you have a rotor that has coils wrapped around it. And so those coils are what we're going to be inducing a current into. So in order to induce a current into those coils, we need to have three things. We need to have a magnetic field, which we've got here, which we're creating with these alternating current power sources, and the coils we're creating electromagnets. We need a conductor. This is going to be the conductor. We've got a magnetic, we've got a, a coil wrapped around a rod here, and that coil pivots about this point. So that's going to be our conductive coil that we can induce a current in. And then we need relative motion. And we create the relative motion, as you know from watching the AC motor video, by rotating the magnetic current uh, throughout here. So kind of creating a magnetic current uh, rotation without actually rotating anything, you alter the magnetic fields in here. So, by rotating that magnetic field, you induce a current into this coil. So as we have a rotation of the magnetic coil, or a rotation of the magnetic field in this direction, we're going to induce a current in this rod here, so that this is going to be north, this is going to be south. So what that rod is going to do is try and align itself with the magnetic field. So at step one, when we've created a north and south pole here and here, and a north and south pole here and here, and this is going to have a north pole induced here and a south pole induced here, it'll align itself like that. At step two, when the alternating current of this coil drops and this coil starts to increase, we'll have the north and south here, and then the north and south here, so this will rotate 45 degrees because of its induced current. So then the next step, the alternating current will drop to zero, so you'll have no current flowing through this coil, and you'll have your current flowing through here. Now you're still going to have your induced current here, so you're going to have the north and south pole, and that's going to cause this to rotate uh, another 45 degrees. So this just continually happens as the alternating currents change, steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and on forever, these magnetic fields will change and they just rotate about this. So this is a two-phase uh, AC induction motor where you're going to have two phases of alternating currents, they're off by 90 degrees, and it's going to cause this induced current to create an electric field or a magnetic field, and that magnetic field will attempt to follow the rotating magnetic field. So hopefully if you watched my other videos and this all makes sense. Um, one thing that you will hear about with AC motors uh, is the three-phase induction motor. So a three-phase induction motor, quite simply, all you do is you add another set of coils to this uh, diagram we've got here. So we've got this set, we've got this set, and we've got this set. And so you're going to have three phases of alternating current all off by 120 degrees and so that's going to make a smoother transition of your magnetic field where it thinks north is, where this rotor thinks north is, and so you're going to have a much smoother motor that rotates with it. And that's the basics of AC induction motors. And it, it, it is kind of complicated um, from a standpoint if you've only watched this, but having seen the other videos, it really does put it all together, and it's pretty cool to know that you can create rotation without any magnets at all. You simply just apply an alternating current. 